Let's start with an empty dictionary. Let's assign an empty dictionary to a variable and let's name this variable D. So D equals sign, open curly bracket, closed curly bracket. And that's it. We can check what is the data type of the variable D with the function type. So type of D. And it says dictionary. Next we can create a dictionary example from the slides. Now we can create the dictionary example from the slides. We can call this variable dict and we can create the key value pairs from the slides. So the first key was first name, which is a string, and the value was Michael, also string. Second key was last name, last name. And its value was please. And the third key was birth year. And the value was 1943. As you can see, all the key value pairs are strings except the last value, the third value pair, 1943, which is an integer type. We can now check how big is our dictionary. That is, we can check how many elements are in our dictionary. So we type print len of dict and it returns 3. Next we can check what is the value for the key last name. So dict square brackets last name and I forgot to put Print. It's Cleese. We know that Michael is not named Cleese, but Palin, so we will change the value for the key last name from Cleese to Palin. Dict square brackets last name and we are updating it to Palin. Let's print out our dictionary to see if the change was made. Print dict. As you can see, key last name has a new value, Palin. Also, you can see that the order of the elements in the dictionary changed. And this is because dictionary is not a sequence, but a collection of elements, and the order is not important. Unlike, for example, in strings, where the order is important. So if we say, say have cat, C-A-T, it is important that it is in that order because if we change the order, we no more have the cat.